Hi, my name is Jenny Pryor, also known as Living Bread Baker. I also know what it's like to, to have real life going on around you and trying to fit sourdough into your real life. And today I wanna to share one tip from a larger video about sourdough starter discards. I hope this is helpful, and if you wanna see more tips, just see the description below. The difference between these two, again, active and discard, is that in here, all the yeast are at a stage where they're active and they're energetic and when you mix them in a dough they are going to give you the, the rise that you want because they are well cared for they are fed and ready for use um, and you can and you also can see the structure of the gluten is still strong enough to hold in the air they will start to digest that those um, proteins down so much that they'll start to collapse and you know become more like a liquid and the gluten at that point is so broken down it can't hold in the air and this, the yeast in here, they're still in there, but they're really tired, broken down. Um, some of the mi microorganisms have, are either just really depleted or they've actually died. And so this is not gonna just rise anything on its own. So whenever you do a sourdough discard recipe, um, unless it's something really flat, like a cracker, sometimes I won't add another leavening agent, but usually I'm adding in baking soda. So this is my little jar of baking soda. I'm getting ready to add that to my soda bread here, but that allows, so what the sourdough discard is doing, it's all of all that it's doing is it's breaking down your flour mixture and making it more digestible and flavorful, um, but it's not gonna help it rise. So in order to help these, these recipes rise, you have to use a leavening agent like baking soda. Um, you don't need to use baking powder. I'll do a separate video about baking powder versus baking soda. Last thing I want you to know about the how you can use it is that if you are sensitive to gluten, it's important for you to look at the recipe and make sure that, that the flour is mixed in and then after it's mixed in with the discard, that it has time to sit and rest and for, to ferment and break down a little bit before it is baked. So if you have see a sourdough discard recipe where it says to mix in the sourdough starter discard, mix in the flour, you know, add the other ingredients and then bake it right away within that same you know 30 minutes or hour, that is not gonna be broken down enough for those of you who are sensitive to gluten because it's not just a sourdough discard being added that just does some instant magic it's also the time that we give that dough to sit and rest and rise for the sourdough starter for those little microorganisms to start to notch away at that protein so it's more digestible when we eat it well i hope you enjoyed that that quick tip um, I also have a, a sourdough quick start guide on my website that you can get for free. So feel free to check out the link below and I hope that that can help you help you and um, just leave me a comment, send me a note to tell me how this video helped you today.